Good morning, Off the Bench Sports family. We're here on location at East St. John High School, Laplace, Louisiana, home of the Wildcats. Very recognizable, very familiar face. Chris Peters, how are you this morning, coach? I'm doing good. What's up? stuff? Um, thank you for taking a moment with Off the Bench Sports. As always, I like to let you guys give your bio, so go ahead and tell the Off the Bench Sports family a little bit about Coach P. Uh, Chris Peters, um, played my collegiate football at Alcorn State University. Um, you know, numerous accolades. I'm now office coordinator at East St. John, I've been OC for eight years, 11 years total in the game. Uh, started off my career at West St. John, then moved to uh, Scotlandville, and now I'm here at East St. John. Wow, that's a, that's a lot. Um, we're gonna go a little bit into it later, but you'll see why that's a lot. So, starting off with St. John, what was great about that? Uh, the atmosphere, you know, the, the, the community was, was absolutely fabulous. I mean, you had talented kids who enjoyed playing football. Uh, I was blessed to coach a lot of guys who ended up playing in college football. Um, had some quarterbacks who ended up starting as true freshmen in college, and Dre Joseph and Austin Howard, uh, a couple of running backs who, who made some waves in the collegiate ranks. Uh, but just overall, the chemistry of that program and the coaching staff that we had, um, it was unparalleled. Lee, West St. John, Rams. Um, I think that's where we come to greet and love one another. Scholarville. Um, I think it was a, a lot of trash talk between us. Um, good, good, friendly gestures. So you take over Scholarville as the offensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? Um, you know, moving from one A to five A is a difference in the speed of the game. Right. Uh, offensively speaking, you had the pieces in place that that could make a great offense. Just had to put them in the right position. So we had a bunch of talented, skilled guys, uh, some good linemen, a uh, great scheme, and it worked out well for us in those three years. You know, we led the state in scoring two out of those three years. Uh, the third year, we averaged 41 and a half points, and I think Zachary averaged 43, so they beat us a little bit. But I mean, overall, man, it was a great experience. Those kids uh, won 33 games. We only lost five in that span. Uh, had a semifinal berth quarterfinal berth, and we ended up playing in the state championship game as well. So those three years were, were excellent. So you know how to win football games? Yes. <laughs> I know the formula to win football games. <laughs> Won't share it? No, no, don't share it. Don't share it. Keep, I mean, it's, it's, it's about the chemistry, man. And, you know, uh, have the kids enjoy what they do. You know, everybody's involved in the offense. Uh, defensively, you know, you get stops and you create turnovers. Uh, offensively, you make them pay for it. That's the key to winning any football game. You got to be able to control the line of scrimmage on both sides. Uh, but offensively speaking, our philosophy is score the ball every time we get it, push the tempo, 80 to 85 plays a game, uh, try and wear the other defense down and, and make plays. You were blessed to coach uh, Levi Lewis, Trenton Charles. Um, a gang of great receivers that could catch the ball. What made that enjoyable? Because uh, you couldn't really game plan on one person. You know, if you have multiple weapons and uh, you're putting them in a position to succeed by putting them in space or, you know, scheming-wise, you're making it uncomfortable for a defense, then you just let their athletic ability take over. And you're talking about Levi Lewis, who's, you know, Michael Vick in a bottle, Trenton Charles, who's a 10 for 100 kid, but he's a running back. He's a football player. Or, you know, you go from Chris Johnson to Vernon Powell to, you know, David Armstead and a, and a host of other guys who make it easy when you have matchups on the outside to get them the ball. And they do what they do best, you know, make a move and go 70. Um, so it made it, it made it pretty easy. Uh, but the game planning, you know, comes from our preparation through the week. You know, Monday through Thursday, we put in the work. Friday, it comes easy to them. We're going to fast forward here right now. This is your second week here at East St. John. 
What has been great about it so far? Best thing about it is everybody's bought in. They picked up the offense pretty well, pretty quickly. Uh, coaches have bought in. You know, we're all on the same page. Um, and it's, it's just a bunch of teaching going on. Uh, the first week I was here, we played in the SLU tournament after only two days of practice, and they did pretty well. Uh, the next week, we had another couple of practices, and we ended up winning the Southern 707 tournament. So I'm just pleased on how well they're picking things up, uh, their mind for the game, you know, their hunger, they're out here working, and we're just getting better and better every day. Do you do anything differently that you've done at Scotlandville or West St. John? Uh, offensively, no, not, not really. Uh, it's a base concept. Um, we run a, a lot of different things at a lot of different formations, but I haven't had to taper it down uh, at all since I've been here because they grasped it really well. So all we do now is, is plug and play and add uh, and try and get as much of the offense in as possible uh, and go week to week from there as far as game planning is concerned. As far as control, how much control do you need to have for your offense to be successful? Uh, control throughout the week is spread out throughout the coaches. You know, I let those guys do their jobs. Uh, you know, I'll go and, and, you know, if they have any questions, go in and, and monitor or whatever case may be, help out wherever I can. Uh, but at the end of the day, when we do team, when we all come together, and that's when we make our corrections, that's when we make our adjustments. Uh, but as far as individuals, those guys are with their guys, and I'm with the quarterbacks for the most part, uh, working on reads, working on technique, working on mesh plays, uh, and that kind of thing. But on game night, it's about 90 95% because I'm sure whoever's in the box uh, will be telling me exactly what they know, what they see from the box, as well as us making our correction down on the field. So control, I wouldn't say is, a, is the word to use. Uh, it's more so of, you know, knowing what I've seen from throughout the week and implementing it on Fridays. We, we know that there can never be another uh, Lewis or Trenton Charles or all the other great players that you've coached in your past, but what guys here do you see that can produce the same type of quality um, and efficiency that those guys did? Uh, we, got, we got a couple players here. Uh, got a nice receiver core. Kid by the name of Dante Clemens, who's a 2020 kid, has really uh, exploded on the scene so far. Hoxie Brown, who's going to be the tight end F. Uh, Duke Crosby and Marcus Jackson, who are quarterbacks. Prentice Cook and also uh, Persian Tony, as, far, and, and as well as Reginald Foster in the backfield. CJ Gardner is also in the backfield. So we have some pieces to play with. I got a couple of good, you know, good offensive linemen led by Jacoby Anderson. Uh, so Nelson Aguilar, so we got we got pieces. Um, that's never going to be an issue when you're here at East St. John. And uh, you know, so that's what it is, man. We just plan on go out there, executing game plans, winning games. Okay, coach. Um, I really appreciate it. It's always good to be in your company. Um, I think you are one of the best offensive minds in the state. Um, Anytime you, you can score as efficiently as you do, your offenses do, that says a lot about who you are as a football guy. Um, you've took multiple programs and not only elevated them, but helped elevate kids. So you make kids better in what you do. Thank you. No problem. Um, thanks for taking a moment with Off the Bench Sports. Remember, get off the bench, get into the game.